APD's new chief says the police shooting that killed a homeless man in the foothills is justified. The video shows the suspect turning away as officers fire. News 13's Chris McKee was there. He's now in the newsplex with more. Yeah, Kim, at a news conference today, Chief Gordon Eden released video from Officer Dominic Perez's helmet camera. He fired three shots, but before that, you'll see a flashbang goes off, then officers make their move. Do it. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This home video shows the man before the shooting. Police say 38 year old James M. Boyd is the man who was killed. Boyd was arguing with police for hours last Sunday in the foothills after officers tried to talk to him about illegally camping. At the press conference today, Chief Gordon Eden said Boyd pulled two knives on the officers to start the event. More than three hours after the whole thing started, police moved in. Chief Eden said officers Keith Sandy and Dominic Perez on the left. Fired their rifles three times. But he called the shooting justified today, saying officers also used non lethal force, first throwing a flashbang, then releasing a dog, and simultaneously using a taser gun and beanbag rounds. Chief Eden said officers fired because Boyd made a direct threat at the canine officer who was unarmed. Actually, if you watch the videotape, all the less than lethal devices were in fact deployed. It was when the canine officer was down directing the canine dog that the suspect pulled out the two knives and directed a threat to the canine officer who had no weapons drawn. He was handling the dog. Now, Chief Eden said it's unclear if Boyd was mentally ill. However, his criminal history details several violent incidents and says Boyd was in and out of mental institutions and jails for decades. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, there are still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding the shooting. Albuquerque police would not say if one or both officers' bullets hit the suspect or how many times he was hit. And more than once, the police department tried to end today's news conference as reporters continue to ask questions. Thank you all very much. Thank you. We're good. Police won't even confirm if the officers' shots are what killed Boyd. They say they are waiting on OMI. Keith Sandy, the officer who fired first, does have a storied past. We told you on special assignment earlier this week how Sandy was fired from state police for time card fraud. He was facing possible criminal charges for doing private security work while on the clock. In 2007, he was hired on by APD anyway. Back then, the department told us he would not carry a gun or have a badge. But as you can see, that obviously did not stick, and he worked his way up to the rope team. Hands out to your side. Beanbag, Drop beanbag. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. You got the knife. All right, he's good. Somebody step on that right hand real hard. Despite Chief Edens that the shooting was justified, it is already under attack. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt. Dick, we showed the shooting video to an attorney and to a civil rights leader who both closely watch APD's use of force. Do it. Get on the ground! After watching the entire video. I'm shocked. I've never seen a murder captured on videotape before. That from attorney Joe Kennedy, who teamed with his wife Shannon to win a $10 million verdict against the city for APD's wrongful death shooting of Kenneth Ellis in 2010. This is, I've never seen anything quite like this. He believes officers put themselves in danger last Sunday by getting too close to Boyd. Peter Simonson of the ACLU says the current federal investigation of APD needs to include this case. Was there another way to approach this whole situation that didn't have to result in someone dying? We need a trustworthy investigation of, of incidents like this. Chief Eden emphasized that officers tried less lethal tactics like the flashbang, a taser shotgun, and the canine, but he insisted that in the end, they had no choice. It was when the canine officer was down directing the canine dog that the suspect pulled out the two knives and directed a threat to the canine officer who had no weapons drawn. The big lie is anytime our officers shoot, they had a right to shoot because they felt threatened. And if this doesn't convince this chief and this mayor 
that officers are out there killing people without justification. I don't know what will. Kennedy also points out that after repeated instruction to get on the ground, the suspect is turning away and is leaning toward the ground when officers fired six shots. If they're giving him an order to get down on the ground and he behaves in a manner that looks like he's getting on the ground, what right do you have to shoot him? Boyd does have a violent past going back nearly 20 years. A few years ago, he punched an APD officer and broke her nose. He also sliced another homeless man with a box cutter in a fight outside a downtown shelter. Back to you.